Hello everyone, this is Sir D and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the part 2 of the Performance and Plus series about seafood with the subject code TLE underscore HECK 10PC dash IIE dash 14. Are you ready to learn? I hope that you are because this is an interesting topic that you can use in your daily life and in your future. So get your aprons ready. Let's get started. Here we have our objectives. First is to identify the types, varieties, market forms, and composition of fish and seafood. And then second and the last one is to identify the different fish cuts. Checking freshness of fish. How will we know? if the fish that we have bought from the market is really of good quality and is recently caught. Remember that fresh fish should be fresh and mild in order. Its eyes must be clear, shiny, and bulging. It must have red or pinkish gills. Texture of flesh is firm and elastic, and it should have shiny scales and tightly cling on the skin. Checking freshness of shellfish. Oysters, clams, mussels in the shell must be alive. Tightly closed shells when jostled. Live or shocked oysters must have a very mild sweet smell. Remember, discard any mussels that are very light in weight. Strong fishy odor or a brownish color is a sign of age of spoilage. Take note of that. Live lobsters must be alive when cooked. The meat will be firm and the tail springs back when straightened. Frozen shrimp should be solidly frozen when received. Glazed shrimp should be shiny with no freezer burn. All shrimps should smell fresh and sweet. A strong fishy or iodine smell indicates age and even spoilage. Live crabs should be kept alive until cooked. Frozen crab meat should be treated like any other frozen fish. Handling and storage of fish. Fresh fish. First, store on crushed ice. Use drip pans to allow for drainage of melted ice. Change ice daily. Cover container or store in separate box away from other foods. Whole fish should be drawn because entrails deteriorate rapidly. Cut fish should be wrapped or left in original moisture-proof wrap. In refrigerated box at 30 degrees to 34 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 1 degree to 1 degree Celsius. Fresh fish may be stored for 1 to 2 days if kept longer, wrap and freeze immediately. And lastly, 
check store fish for freshness just before using. Remember to make use of your senses very well. Smell, touch, and sight. Frozen fish. First, frozen products should be frozen, not thawed when received. Then, items should be well wrapped with no freezer burn. Store at 0 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius or colder. Fourth, maximum storage time for fat fish would be for 2 months and lean fish for 6 months. And lastly, rotate stock. First in, first out. So make sure that you check the labels whenever you are going to the supermarket to buy your frozen fish. Thawing and handling of frozen fish. So you are likely to receive your frozen fish as it is iced very well on a sealed plastic container or plastic wrap. So how do you deal with it if you're going to cook it? First is thaw and refrigerator. Never at room temperature. If pressed for time, keep an original moisture proof wrapper and thaw under cold running water. Second is small pieces like fillet and steaks can be cooked from frozen state to prevent excessive drip loss. Large fish should be thawed for even cooking. Third, Fillets that are to be breaded can be partially thawed. Fourth, handle thawed fish as fresh fish. Do not refreeze. And then lastly, at number five, breaded, battered, and other frozen prepared fish items are mostly cooked from frozen state. Thawing and handling of shellfish. Mussels. Keep refrigerated for 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 35 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees to 2 degrees Celsius. And protect from light. Store in original sack and keep sack damp. Shrimps. It must be kept frozen at 0 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius or lower. It must be thawed in the refrigerator. Belt shrimp should be wrapped before placing on ice. Shrimp served hot must be peeled and deveined before cooking. Shrimp to be served cold must be peeled after cooking to preserve flavor. Crabs. Live crabs should be kept alive until cooked. It has been mentioned even in part 1, just like lobsters. Frozen crab meat is very perishable when thawed. It must be treated like any other frozen fish. Our reference for today's video lesson. Ayag Mariel C. Supplementary Learning Material TLE Home Economics Cookery 10 Quarter 3 Module 1 Performance and Loss With the subject code TLE underscore HECK10PC-IIE-14 And that ends our two-part series about performance and loss seafood I hope that you have learned something valuable and observed that these practices are already applied in our daily lives when we encounter seafood and when we cook prepare the seafood dishes. If you have any questions regarding this topic or would like to learn more about other related topics, do comment down below. 
don't forget to leave a like to this video and share it with your family and friends. Share the learning. I hope that you are in good health and I will see you in our next video.